Hello everyone, how is it going? Video Gamer 64 and Sega Saturn Gamer 48 here. In this video, I got seven games that I got in my video game collection recently. I have added all seven of these games to my video game collection recently, from a month and a half ago or two months ago, all the way till yesterday. So without further ado, let's get started. First game I pull out here is Snow Cross Championship Racing. I got this game on e off of eBay, and this is a pretty good game. Snow Cross Championship Racing. This is a very good game, and it's pretty fun. And I'll show y'all the back of it, what it looks like. It looks very red. And that's Snow Cross Championship Racing on a PlayStation One. <laughs> Next we got three Sega games. Uh the first one I pull out here is Army Men Sergeant's Heroes. I got this off of eBay and I um order it off of eBay and got it yesterday in the mail. This game is a great game. I remember playing the series on PlayStation one years ago. And um now I can say I got it on the Dreamcast. The first one anyway. Since that was the only one that came out on the Dreamcast was Army Men Sergeant's Heroes 1. And uh, Confidential 0600 Hours, General Plastro and his evil tan forces have captured Bravo Company. It says, as Sarge, you must undertake 16 missions to rescue your commandos. Requisition M16 assault rifles, M16 machine guns, bazookas, sniper rifles, Flamethrowers, grenade launchers, motars, and more to get the job done. For a little R&R, &R, you can battle mode up to three friends. Only you can shut down Plastro's portals and bring peace to the plastic world again. Good luck, soldier. I love the way it says that. It's very awesome. And um, I remember when the commercial came out years ago, I don't remember if it was the first one that came out or the second one on N64. But anyway, I remember they had a Nutcracker commercial and uh, an army man stuck a firecracker between his legs and blew him up. <laughs> oh man, I remember that. That was funny. And I wish I could show that video on here because it is funny. Next game, a lot of people don't care about on a Dreamcast, but I really like it personally because I'm a fan of the casinos and slot machines and poker and blackjack and stuff like that. Anyway, we got Hyo Casino. Casino. I mean, Hyo Casino. Over 350 Vegas style game variations. Ooh. Now, this uh, really stars the eight Vegas style games which is blackjack, craps, poker, pie gal, poker, roulette, slots, video poker, and video slots. Now this is a great game. I remember playing it years ago on a PC. Yeah, I said PC, believe it or not. I barely played PC games growing up and still don't play them as much. I mean that much. Rarely I would, but I don't. Because I'm more of the console. And, um, anyway, all of these games are complete in box, by the way, I think. Anyway, it says the number one the casino experience. It's mostly like different variants of slot machines and blackjack and stuff like that. You can bid up to like thousands at a time in the game. Or you could go bid as low as $5 or something like that. I don't remember. But I used to play that game all the time. And when I got it, I played it for like three or four hours straight, nonstop. Next, we got an iconic game on a Dreamcast that needs no introduction. It's the Sega All-Stars version of this Dreamcast game. I remember playing this years ago, and now I got it on a Dreamcast collection of mine. And it's the Sega All-Stars edition of Crazy Taxi. Whoa. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it says, grab the wheel and prepare for the craziest car cab drive. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let me start over. 
Grant the will and prepare for the craziest cab ride of your life. <laughs> Great game. I remember playing that and they have Offspring song called All I Want. I love the band Offspring. One of the best bands of my time. Okay, next we got Return to Castle Wolfenstein Tides of War. Now this is an original Xbox game. And this is a great game. It says, there's no doubt about its greatness from start to finish. It's a gri gripping, epic cinematic adventure. But, and it's quoted by the official Xbox magazine. Received 5 out of 5 stars. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> you can't get no more impressive than that. And that's what it says right there. And, um, I have played a little bit of this. I haven't played too much of it, but it is complete in box. It is a great game. And, uh, I, I love anything with the military games and stuff like that. Anything military games, I play. Try to play, anyway. <laughs> Even if it's Call of Duty or Wolfenstein or Doom. Well, Doom ain't really military. I guess you could say it is in a way. I don't know. But anyway, um, like Army Men, Sergeant's Heroes, I'll play that. Anything like that, you know, it's really entertaining and stuff to play and stuff. Oh, and does anybody remember the game Medal of Honor? That was a great series back in the day. I don't even think they make any, any Medal of Honor games anymore. But I remember that game, and it was game series, and it was so great. Started off on a PlayStation 1, I think it was. And uh, it, it was a great game. Next on the anyway, next on original Xbox, we got Pac-Man World 3. And I don't have the disc in here, but it, I do have it. It is complete in box. But um, I can explain why. <laughs> I, ha I have it in my original Xbox console because I was playing that last on my Xbox console. And um, it's a pretty good game, and a lot of people hated on this when it first came out, I remember. And uh, I think everybody wants the Pac-Man World Series back, so I think this is going to get back in popularity again, and hopefully people start liking it. Because it is really a charming game, just like Pac-Man World 1 and Pac-Man World 2 and stuff like that, so yeah. Great game, it says, it's your world, eat it. Great game, recommended. Next, we got a PlayStation 5 game called The Callisto Protocol. Now, I did some gameplay of this on, um, back nowadays, this don't have the manual, but it comes with the disc, but it's still considered complete since it don't come with the manual, you know. But anyway, the Callisto Protocol, I did record some gameplay footage of it. Y'all might have seen it. I recorded some on uh, part one on mo most of my social media, like Leavid, uh, YouTube, uh, BitView, and other great sites. So yeah, this is the Callisto Protocol on PlayStation 5. And that's all the games I got recently. Let's do a quick recap. We got the Callisto Protocol, Pac-Man World 3 on original Xbox, and same as Return to Castle Wolfenstein, Tides of War. Now on a Sega Dreamcast, we got Crazy Taxi, High Old Casino, Army, Mids, Army Men, Sergeant Heroes, and Snow Cross Championship Racing. And I hope all of you guys really enjoyed my videos and find them entertaining on my The Video Gamer 64 and Sega Saturn Gamer 48 channel. And, um, yeah, I'm a, obviously I, uh, I was the Sega Saturn Gamer 48 and now I'm the Video Gamer 64. But, um, I created my channel Sega Saturn Gamer 64 and The Video Gamer 64 on, uh, Leavid. And to me, it's way better than Vidly. Oh, my God. Vidly was filled with drama, trolls, and everything like that. So glad I left that website called Vidly. 
but li leave it is so much better and peaceful and less drama than Vidly. So if anybody's watching this video and um already knows what I'm talking about that site and those sites and stuff Bitview has got a lot better than what it was so I've really been enjoying that site more but anyways guys I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video and I hope all of you guys had a nice day and uh, everything if y'all did enjoy this video feel free to comment like or rate this video five stars don't forget to subscribe to me on my The Video Gamer 64 channel and my Sega Saturn Gamer 48 channel to see more videos on here on Leavid or SSG48 Resurrected on Vid We Vidi. Anyway, Video Gamer 64 and Sega Saturn Gamer 48 signing off. Signing off.